Hi guys, how's it going? You doing okay? Yeah? You're right, it has been a while since I've been here. So let me tell you why I'm here. Basically, I got this really great box in the mail from Cafe Demitas, and I'm excited to share this with you. Now, obviously, things are just cuckoo bananas this year, isn't it? So, there's this box that they have that is the work from home box. And so November's work from home box has a couple of really great, awesome sounding drinks in there. And they give you all the ingredients to make these things. And basically, you can get your cafe favorites from home. I love that. I secretly have kind of always wanted to be a barista, so I feel like this has given me that chance to just get a taste of the world a little bit, but from the comforts of my own home. You don't even have to wear pants. You could be like the greats, you know? You could be like Winnie the Pooh or Donald Duck. So why don't we go ahead and check out what's in the box? All right. Fun fluff already. I love fluff. We've got, of course, the base, the one and only, the coffee. Now this is Wish Wish. That is a great name. Wish Wish, Wish Wish. I wish wish I had free coffee for the rest of my life. A girl could wish. Also, my cat thought this was hers and she got to it before I could. So it's a nice little puncture hole there. Now in the Wish Wish, there are notes of apricot, black tea, and honey. And this is a washed Ethiopian coffee. So the next thing we have is Nature's Charm Coconut Whipping Cream. Dairy-free, gluten-free, and soy-free. Chill, pour, whip. Maybe I should put this in the freezer so I can expedite the chilling process. I don't know if that's gonna work, but who cares? It's my drink, and I'm making it from home. I hope I don't forget it. So the coconut whipping cream is what you're going to be basically topping your coffee with. Now, I don't have one of those canisters that turns the cream into whipped cream, so I'm going to be kind of improvising, but I'm sure it's still gonna taste delicious, so. Expectations versus reality. I feel like most of us are on the reality side. Okay, the next thing we have, we have raw cookie dough good bites. The brand is good bites, but it is raw cookie dough. I feel like my cat is about to jump on my shoulders. I am, <laughs> I'm right. All right, she really likes that plant. Okay, I'm sorry for all of you who are uh, getting mooned by my by Minnie. Consider it an honor though. Okay, you know what, I'll give me, just give me like a second. Oh God. This isn't going the way I wanted it to. Hold on, just don't, don't go anywhere. Okay, let me, just one second. And we're back. Like I was saying, here, we've got some good bites, raw cookie dough. I love cookie dough. This is raw vegan, it is organic. I cannot wait to get into these. So next we have these honey dates, which are different from medjool dates. So these dates are from Deval Farms that I guess was one of the first date farms in Coachella Valley. I think it dates back to 1913. Oh man, I didn't even know that there was gonna be a pun that was happening. What a good day. So what you're going to be using the dates for is to make a date syrup to sweeten your coffee. Okay, and lastly we have cardamom pods. Pobs? Try that again. So lastly we have Cardamom pods. Now, I don't think I've ever seen like whole cardamom before. So this is really interesting actually. So with these cardamom pieces, I guess you're gonna be infusing your coffee with it. The first drink we're gonna make is called Date Espresso con Coconut Penna. So the second drink I was going to make is called Cardamom Cold Brew Date Latte. Now, I don't know how I missed it, but cold brew is in the title, which means you need cold brew. So I got to make cold brew, which takes hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up right now and then we're gonna have cold brew steep overnight and then we're going to continue this process of deliciousness. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our 100 grams of dates and then we are going to add them to 300 grams of water, put it in a small saucer and then you're going to simmer it for 15 minutes stirring occasionally. Once it's all done, you're going to pour the syrup in a little glass and then you're gonna take the remainder of the paste and do whatever you want with it. Spread it over something tasty. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my 25 grams of coffee with my AeroPress, um, it's basically supposed to replicate espresso. So this is the closest to espresso that I'm going to get. I don't have the Prismo uh, filter that they put on here, but I think it'll still be good anyways. So just dump that in. I've got my 25 grams of coffee. Now I need to add 50 grams of boiling water. 
We've got my trusty scale, which I actually also got from Cafe Demi Toss using their Build a Brew kit, which I have a whole other video on. So go ahead and check that out after this video, of course. Um, that's amazing. You can literally piece together your own home brewing kit, and it's a genius idea. So I got my scale, got my arrow press on the scale, tearing the scale, got my water. Okay, and we are going to 50 grams. Stir aggressively. Here we go. Stirring aggressively. I like to use a chopstick. Stirring aggressively. Steep for a minute. Things are happening. Coffee is steeping. Date syrup is boiling. Sun is shifting. It's been a minute. Thank you for your services. Gonna steep. Boop. Inverted. And we're going to press down aggressively. This is the amount that I got. I don't know if that's the right amount. Maybe my glass is just too big, but I'm gonna trust the recipe. Okay, so the date syrup is ready. This is what I'm gonna use as a strainer because it's the only strainer that I have. It's massive. And then here's what I'm going to strain it into. So this is what that looks like. Clearly I'm a uh, professional chef. So I've got my date syrup. I'm actually really excited about this because I've never made a syrup before and it smells freaking fantastic and with the way that the dates taste i have very high expectations here's what that looks like it looks like brown delicious mush i probably should use something that's not a chopstick i'm really attached to this chopstick let me get like a spoon or something we got a spoon i'm pressing down on the date residuals to try and squeeze out as much of the liquid as i can squish 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 squish, squish, squish. uh here's what that yielded um, but here is my residual date paste. Now I can't wait to put this over things and enjoy that little side treat. All right, so I searched the interwebs on how to make whipped cream if you don't have any like special whipped cream maker. So I put it in the freezer, probably not long enough because they were suggesting that you do it for multiple hours. I did not do that, but I did put my bowl in the freezer and I'm just going to wing it, you know? Why not? So, cold bowl, some whipped cream. It looks very nice. I am going to use a mixer, a hand mixer, and we'll see how this goes. Wish me luck. All right, so I basically got impatient and just decided to stop whipping it since I didn't really follow the rules and have it be refrigerated for a long period of time and if I can make this doing the bare minimum then only you can make it better and it will taste just as great. We have the espresso. I'm going to add maybe a spoonful of the syrup. Maybe two. Okay so I'm going to take my failed coconut whipped cream and spoon it on here anyways. I think I needed more espresso. Let's do two spoonfuls shall we? Boom. Let's just mix it all together. This is just like, this is like a little sampler really. It's not like a whole, a whole cup. But don't worry, I'm gonna post the recipe down below so you can actually follow the instructions. I'm notorious for not following the instructions when it comes to cooking, baking, all of those things. Mm, yep. And it's great. I'm even gonna add more date syrup. I'm just gonna pour it in there. Boop. Ooh, it could almost be like a, maybe you can make like a coconut, coconut? Make like a coconut cold brew or this little coconut latte thing. Okay, well, now I'm going to um, leave you here so I can start the process of the cold brew that will be coming up next tomorrow, but it'll be the same day for you because it's the same video. Be right back. Hello again. It is the next day, but I just thought I would do everything the same for continuity purposes. You know, make it flow nicely. So if you're still here, awesome. So I have my cold brew. Very important. Make sure you do that before, you know, starting this recipe. Because who wouldn't read the instructions before starting a recipe? So use whatever cold brew maker that you have or a French press is what Bobby did on that video. Um, so I have this giant cold brew carafe glass right here. So what you do is you put 100 grams of coffee into your filter and then you put the cardamom in there as well that's already measured out for you. And then you pour over 200 grams of hot water and just let it steep a little bit. Make sure all the flavors mix together. After about a minute, then you add 400 grams of cold water into the rest of your container. 
and then you let it steep overnight, um, 8 to 12 hours. I like to do mine a little bit longer just because I like that really, really solid taste. And then boom, cold brew. So if you remember beforehand, I also didn't refrigerate the coconut cream like I was supposed to, and it wasn't as fluffy as it should have been. Still tasted delicious, but I was able to put the cream in the fridge along with the cold brew and do things the right way. So here we go. I'm gonna mix this up and get fluffy. Let's fluff. So I've got all my ingredients that I need to be successful in making this cardamom cold brew date latte. So I don't have your basic like cocktail mixer, so I'm gonna use this fabulous Harry Potter blender bottle um, that I've already placed the ice inside. And I'm gonna add my coconut cream, my date syrup, my cardamom infused cold brew. We're gonna mix these all together and it's gonna be great. So I'm gonna eyeball this, but if you're somebody who needs the exact measurements, you're gonna take two ounces of everything. So two ounces of your cold brew, two ounces of your date syrup, and two ounces of your coconut cream. So you're going to mix this up, my date syrup, and I'm just gonna spoon in coconut cream. We are gonna shake. What's shaking? Make sure your lid is on, because that could be disastrous. All right. Sounds like a professional. That should be enough. Pop this baby open. It's really on there. Ah, muzzle top. All right, then we're gonna take our fancy glass and we are going to yeah, pour that in. Mm -hmm. Pinky out. Keep it fancy. Don't hit your tooth. Perfection. You get perfection. So by the time you see this, this was November's box, but they will have an all new box for December. So I highly recommend that you go and check out Cafe Demi Toss's December box. It's gonna be great. All of their things are absolutely delicious. And share with me what you guys end up making. I would love to see it. Well, thank you for uh, going on this journey with me. As always, it's a bit bumpy when it comes to recipe making because I just like to wing it, you know? See what happens. But thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you Cafe Demi Toss for giving me this amazing box. It was a lot of fun to make and I will see you guys soon. Bye!